Hello, my loves. <clears throat> Welcome to your weekend love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for October 8th through the 11th. I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Special shout out to my good friend Kim. She just opened up her own crystal shop. Um, you can find her website below, okay? Guys, don't forget, don't forget, excuse me, to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, runes, jewelry, crystals, Bibles, self-help books. Um, it is a lot of fun. Just shoot me an email. The uh, information is below at cancerbabytarot at gmail.com um, with your YouTube name and what you would like to manifest in the giveaway. Um, I also do a $250 giveaway every month. You do not have to send an email for that. I just go to the comments and choose the winners there. I just read what you guys are going through, okay? So again, click that notification bell. You don't want to win something and then miss the shout out, okay? So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Cancers, please. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Cancers, October 8th through the 11th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Signs, October... Ooh, too many cards. Oh, those came out in reverse. October 8th through the 11th, please, Spirit, for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Spirit. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, Five of Pentacles. That wanted to come out. That card flipped out. I was like, I'm not going to take it. I'll take it if it comes out again. And we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Seven of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. Well, guys, this is a very, 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 very clear warning here. We have someone here that... <clears throat> Just one moment, guys. I feel like there's someone here that doesn't have what you have, Cancer. Now, this could be your love interest. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. People are feeling like um, you have something that you that they don't, okay? And they want to take that from you, okay? Um, this person may be trying to steal your secrets from work or they're trying to um, take something from you. It could even be like an energy vampire, someone that's like kind of trying to suck your energy here so that you have trouble working. Um, this could be an energy of somebody who's just very jealous because you have something that they don't. That's all I'm feeling here. And What's happening here is I feel like you're moving forward. You're disconnecting, you know what I'm saying, from people because maybe you're feeling this. I, I don't know how you wouldn't feel it. There's someone here that's a very negative energy. The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. And the Four of Cups. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like somebody here feels very rejected by you, Cancer. They feel really rejected by you. They feel like abandoned by you. They feel like you left them out in the cold. They, they, this is just an ugly feeling. And this person wants to come in and apologize or this person is coming in seeming sweet or seeming like they're your friend because they want to apologize from something from the past. Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You may have left this person behind cancer because you felt like they were taking advantage of you. 
Okay, you may have felt that this person was toxic, that they were taking from you, that they were stealing from you, that they were lying from you, and you left. This person came to realize that they should have taken your offer or they should have given more. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you may have felt very alone in this connection. You may have felt like you were the only one giving and this person wasn't even looking at you. So I'm getting a sense of loneliness, like you felt very unhappy in this connection. So now that there's a break here, I'm feeling that this person is seeing that in the connection with you, they can see your point of view now. Do you see what I'm saying? They can see how you felt so alone. They can see how you felt the way you felt, that they're being enlightened and they want to come in and apologize for it. And I feel that with the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, um, you know, this wheel is turning when you're unhappy in a love relationship and this wheel of fortune comes in, it's turning in your favor. Now, it does bring emotional upheaval with it. So maybe you guys had to separate so this person could see, you know, how they were acting and how it wasn't fair. Because it seems to me like there's definitely um, an unequal give and take here. It seems to me like you were one person here is putting in all the work and the other person is just taking. But I feel like you're looking at this offer, Cancer, because we've got this Knight of Cups looking at the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups looking at the Knight of Cups, and there you are, Cancerian energy. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, behind you here. So um, you might be looking at this offer. Let's see. We've got Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and the Fool. Aries energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Something doesn't feel right here, Cancer. I've got the Lover's card and the Hierophant under the deck. Something doesn't feel right. I feel like this person is coming in because they need something. Like, I feel like with the Fool card and Temperance card, this person has a face of being very calm, very patient, very, like, nonchalant. But on the inside, this Fool, like wants to jump, wants to run, what they have anxiety, like they need things to hurry up. Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm feeling here because this is a very abundant energy. This is someone who's doing well financially, or this is a family. This is someone who's committed. And I feel like we've got, you know, the Hierophant here with the lover's card. Okay. Um, I feel like someone here may be married, may be in a relationship. And with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, this person is coming in to take from you. I, I gotta be honest, to give to somebody else. Cause I feel like this person is going to like disappear right after, you know, cause that Knight of Swords energy is someone who like, we have this Ace of Pentacles. So as soon as they get what they want, which I feel like might be a large sum of money, or it could be something here. As soon as they get a gift or something, it could be a new beginning or whatnot. But with that Knight of Swords, I feel like they create drama and then and run off again. Yeah, Five of Swords. And the Three of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Two of Pentacles. Guys, I, I'm, I keep hearing the word scam being screamed in my head. Three of Cups, the Moon card, and the Two of Wands with the World card. Guys, I feel like some of you may live at a distance from this person. 
you're giving this person money or this may be very specific to one person i don't know you know what i'm saying but i feel like you may live at a distance from somebody here you may be giving this person money and they're using it to for the it's like king and queen of pentacles do you understand what i'm saying we have two people here that i feel are why do i feel this energy of scamming like look at this five of pentacles the devil and the seven of swords there's like a relationship here where these people scam outside people do you understand understand and what happens here is is i feel like when this king of pentacles gets a little bit too close to whoever they're scamming the queen of pentacles here gets jealous and and you know what i'm saying gets jealous gets upset that you know are you falling in love with her are you falling in love with him and they they don't trust and they want to cut out the relationship so let me just backtrack here okay let's just backtrack here I feel that this is a relationship cancer that you were in. You were putting in a lot of work here. And I feel like this person was taking from you. Okay, they were taking from you. You ended up leaving and walking away from this connection. Okay, you ended up leaving and walking away from this connection because you came to realize that you were just really unhappy. You weren't getting anything. All right. Now, this person that you left behind came to realize, okay, well, these are the mistakes that I made in the past and they want to come talk to you and they want to, they want to, you know, talk about those mistakes from the past. Another thing I'm getting is that this person may even be coming with a, a question of, will you invest in me? Like, will you give me money? This person may be coming in asking you for a loan possibly. Um, I feel like you're looking at this person though. I feel like you're looking at this person. I feel like this person, um, they want you to take that leap of faith. So I feel like they are being patient. They're not being pushy on the inside. They want to be pushy. But what I'm feeling here is we ultimately have this queen of pentacles here that is waiting for money, like is what I'm feeling. Because this queen of pentacles is looking at this ace of pentacles here. And then we've got the knight of swords that like wants to take this money and run. Do you understand? Um, I feel like this queen of pentacles here gets very like impatient. They get upset, they get jealous, and they 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 get you know, they feel scorned when this king of pentacles does this. Like cuz the king of pentacles with the two of pentacles there is now juggling, but I feel like it's because finances are up, finances are down. Like this is how this couple schemes outside people. You see? And you don't know this because you're at a distance. You don't read 3 of uh 3 of cups the moon, the two of wands. And I feel like for some of you, you may not even realize it because you may live at a distance from this person, a different geographical distance. And with the nine of wands and the tower, I feel like you're going to realize that someone here is manipulating you. Like you're going to see the truth here possibly. Um, yeah, Cancer, what is going on here? I got to pull another row because this is just craziness. This is very specific. We have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. The Ten of Swords. The Eight of Wands. The Moon. Cancer, Piscean, Energy. And the high priestess, more Cancer Piscean energy. This is secrets and intuition. I feel like I'm telling you. Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, pre Empress energy. You're gonna, you're gonna, you, this person's gonna leave you hurting, Cancer. This person is going to leave you hurting, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because this person has, this is a third party situation. This person has a Ten of Cups somewhere else. This person, King and Queen of Pentacles, they are in a full blown relationship somewhere else. Okay. And because this third party, because this Queen of Pentacles here gets jealous over what this person is trying to do, they hurt you and run off 
to this queen of pentacles, okay? So this person doesn't get too close to you because they are in another relationship, okay? And this ends with you having no idea what's going on here. Like you're, you, it's like you feel like there's something up, but you're not really sure what. And you know, guys, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Like you may just think you're in a relationship where things are up and down and rocky, or this person has commitment issues, or they've been hurt in the past. You may think that there's like reasons as to why this person is acting this way. They're acting this way because they have a full-blown relationship on the side. But because this person's finances are up and down, or maybe they're up and down with this king and queen of pentacles, which I doubt because the king and queen of pentacles is a very uh, strong connection, okay? But I feel like this is how they make their money. This is how they have abundance. These two people scam people. That's what they do. They scam people. Oh my gosh, I would be careful, Cancer. Like, I don't know. Let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. We've got the Fool card here, Aries Energy. Tell me about the Devil we've got the six of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? The six of pentacles is about, it's, it could be giving, loaning money, giving money. Do you understand? So we have someone here who's, who's non-committal, someone here who just goes from person to person, place to place, and now they've landed on you, Cancer. This person does not have good intentions. They want you to give them stuff. And with the seven of swords and the queen of cups, Cancerian energy, they are robbing you blind. We've got the eight of pentacles here and the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. I want you to understand that this is employment for this person. This is how this person works because ultimately it's like, you see the queen of wands right here? It's like this person is going to work. They go to third party energies to get money and then they go and give it back to this queen of pentacles. Six of swords and the four of wands. You see, then they go back to their stability, eight of cups and the nine of wands. I feel like they hurt you. They emotionally disconnect. It's very on and off and that's because they're taking whatever abundance you're giving them and you're they're bringing it somewhere. Let's see, the hanged man and the six of wands. We've got the Four of Cups and the high, uh, and uh, the Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like this person has been very successful at not giving anything in return whatsoever. Excuses, procrastination, withdrawing, saying they need to think about it, saying that they need to whatever, you know what I'm saying? They've been very successful at doing this until now. Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Energy. They're coming in with an apology. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. They're going to come in saying, I'm sorry, I've been so dramatic. I've been in, I've been out, causing a lot of drama. And I feel like you're listening. Seven of Wands, Energy here. You're listening. You're listening. Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. I feel like you're going to be, I, I feel like you're just, I'm sorry, Cancer, I'm going to say it. I feel like you're so naive here. I feel like you just don't see this coming. You just, you're just not seeing this coming because you're, you're listening to this person. And to you, this is like this person's telling you how to overcome the problems and how we could work this out. And you're seeing this, this apology as a win. You're seeing this as like, oh, wow, this person really does care about me. They really do understand what they're doing wrong. Uh, temperance here and the three of wands, the full card and the two of swords. So you've been yearning for peace with this person. You've been wanting this person to stop acting non-committal and crazy. Um, Queen of Pentacles and the five of cups with the 10 of pentacles and the empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra energy. I, I have to be honest with you. I feel like we have one person here that feels bad about what they do. I'm not going to lie. Someone here feels bad about this. Ace of Pentacles. See, someone here is at work. Someone here has got a plan. They're smart. They want that, that Pentacle. Knight of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so I, I feel like this person hangs around with you, okay, to get that Pentacle. And then they dip when, and then they're tired. Like they, they, this is like exhausting to them. They're, and then they dip off. I feel like this other third party though, this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands energy, feels guilty. They feel bad, but this is how you guys make money. This is how they make money. 
this is how they make money five of wands and the three of cups you see someone gets jealous three of swords and the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy you see this queen of swords that doesn't like this this queen of score excuse me queen of swords this queen of pentacles doesn't like the scam they feel guilty this queen of pentacles is jealous that this person does this okay and this person it, it's like it breaks their heart this queen of pentacles is not on board this third party person this person's wife or this person's husband is not on board with this uh, this is like a human gigolo or this is just a scam artist this person is just a scam artist tell me about the two of cups the seven of cups queen of swords and the five of swords so you see what what happens here is is like so we have this king of pentacles that meets men or women they get close to them they feed off of them okay that people that are innocent or whatever they take money they take this abundance if you buy them a tv if you it doesn't have to be large sums of money you could just be buying them clothes or a tv or whatever right you understand what i'm saying but the two of cups is an illusion it's fake it's not real okay it's not real and what happens here is is that when this when this queen of pentacles here starts getting upset like this king of pentacles is getting too close to somebody they start getting upset and that's when you know this king of pentacles has to sabotage the connection and go back to the queen of pentacles we've got the king of pentacles and the ace of cups with the two of pentacles and the death card uh scorpionic energy so i feel like somebody here is wondering you know do you really love me i don't really think that you love me you know what i'm saying you know or it could be that this queen of pentacles is saying listen have you fallen in love you know i feel like this queen of pentacles gets to the point of what if you fall in love with somebody i don't like this juggling i want it to end do you understand so someone here is making money or providing in a very 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 toxic way and i feel like there's an argument here so cancer this could be between you and your person you could be this queen of pentacles you may be with a man or a woman that you know uses other people other individuals other men other women that are weaker than themselves to gain money ten of cups and the six of cups queen of wands and the ten of cups you see this they've they've been together for a long time this king and queen of pentacles have been together possibly even childhood sweethearts possibly even high school sweethearts the the this connection ten of cups ten of cups six of, this is not going anywhere this is an untouchable connection okay ten of swords and the two of wands eight of wands and the eight of cups you see so what happens here is is this person is just quick to leave you cancer because they have somebody to go to do you understand what i'm saying like like they may be so loving and everything and then out of nowhere like this drama happens a fight happens and they just disappear like you don't hear from them at all and you're like you start to wonder how can this person just disconnect from me and be so emotionless when they were just so loving you know the moon card and the eight Ace of swords the truth is about to come to light the high priestess and the king of pentacles oh my gosh a truth is about to come out that was hidden what is about to come out with the high priestess the king of pen that this king of pentacles already has a queen that this king of pentacles already has a queen someone here is about to face their karma Oh, my Lanta. Cancer, what is going on here? This is very specific. So, Cancer, I don't know where you stand here. You may be the queen of pentacles where it's your person that takes advantage of other people like this. You're not okay with it. You're not okay with it. It actually makes you jealous. It makes you, you know, you're just tired of dealing with this. But this person, this is how they bring home money, by scamming people. Um, or, Cancer, you could be the one being scammed here you could be the so just be careful if you meet someone new if you meet someone new or if you're in a current relationship where you have someone that just comes in and out of your life and when they are out of your life they go dead we're talking like dead silence like you don't hear about this person from this person at all that is because they're back with their in their ten of cups you know what i'm saying they're going to reassure the queen of pentacles that that queen of pentacles is still the queen i want to make it clear we have the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles we've got the queen of pentacles 
to the King of Pentacles twice. Okay, I want to make it clear. And you're right here, Cancerian energy, right on top of the Seven of Swords. You're being robbed. And where is your hard work and your money going to? The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands right here, which is the third party. Cancer, I don't know what you have going on here, but whatever you're giving to your this person, it's like this person takes from you, then disappears. It's because they're taking whatever you're giving them and feeding someone else. This is just crazy. Very specific message. unreal so i would just be careful we're going to take this we're taking this into the extended <clears throat> we're 100 percent taking this into the extended <clears throat> excuse me i want to <clears throat> i have no voice i want to um find out about this king and queen of pentacles what's happening with that i want to find out what's going to happen with you are you going to get scammed here is this going to continue i mean you're finding out the truth here i want to see what happens when you find out the truth i, I want i would this has to this is just like a, a soap opera we have to continue it just cannot end here um <clears throat> the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys bye